Look what just came in the mail. This is the new Sephora Favorites Blush and Glow Kit. Um, so if you do like Sephora Favorites reviews and swatch videos, which I will be doing natural lighting swatches, um, outside natural lighting, as well as face swatches here on my cheeks. That's why I'm not wearing any face makeup. Well, I have all my face makeup, but powder and bronzer on, highlighter on, um, so that you can see the true color and finish of each one of these. So, um, yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe if you do like those type of types of videos. I do these quite often here on my channel every single time that there's a Sephora favorites kit. I go ahead and pick it up to review for you guys, especially the lip ones. But I'm excited to see this cheek um, option. Um, it does come with the Iconic Illuminator by Iconic London. And the original shade has 0 0.09 fluid ounces. It also comes with the Melt Cosmetics, which is a full-size cream blush light and sandy cheeks. A full size of the NARS Orgasm Blush, which I still have a full size from about two years ago um, when I did a Sephora Favorites review. So I will be using my original one and saving the other one to probably give to someone. And then the Nude Six All Over Face Bronze Color in Sunkist, which is also a mini and 1.8 grams. The NARS has 4.8 grams. And then the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and Parte, which is um, a freebie that they gave at Sephora for some for your birthday a few years ago. And that's 1.5 grams or 0 0.052 ounces. So yeah, my dog got into this. Um, it's not perfect, but what's inside is what counts. So this does resell for 36 USD or 47 Canadian and it has 85 US value or 111 Canadian value. Just drop the NARS one. So I think we're going to start off with the cream options just to get it over with. I do not have my foundation set wet powder. It's just on my bare skin. I think I'm going to start off with the sun kiss shade because I like using this um, like as a blushy bronzer so i'm just gonna apply somewhere i normally would apply bronzer just so you can see and then i'll apply the melt cosmetics to magic so i'm just going to take my um my blending sponge and just blend 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 just so you can see how beautiful bronzy blushy this product is and i do own a whole bunch of nude sticks as you guys can see back there so here's what the product looks like i will zoom in so you can see my lovely forehead next up is melt cosmetics and sunday cheeks so yeah um this is what this one looks like i'm going to um, probably just dip into it with my finger and blend away. I actually think these two will probably pair nicely because this is just a little bit more peachy and this one has more bronzy rose tones. I really like the finish of this one. In person, it's not as dewy. It just has like dew on my um, top of my cheeks, but the rest looks pretty good. So if you're oily, I think this may be a cream product that you can get away with using without looking too oily. And the new sticks as well has more of like a natural, not, not super matte, but matte-ish finish. I really like these two so far. But yeah, I've been dying to try out the Melt Cosmetics ones, and I'm glad that I finally have a full size in my collection. And next up, we have the Iconic London Illuminator. It is a little dropper style. And I'm going to apply this one to my nose so you guys can see what this one looks like. Okay, this color blends in very nicely with my skin tone. I will zoom in so you can see my nose. And I think I'm going to apply a little bit to my forehead just to get a nice 
glowy look overall um and i'm a bd31 and chanel foundations just so you know for skin a reference so now my forehead has that same glow let me know which one of these cheek products are your favorite so far Next up, we have NARS Orgasm. This is the same blush that I owned for two years. And there's not really a big dent in there. I just rotate through my blushes and I do use this pretty often, but not like super, super often, if that makes any sense. I'm just going to quickly apply some to this cheek over here. So this is NARS Orgasm. Let me know what you think of the shade on me. I'm going to quickly take off the foundation on my cheek, reapply some foundation, and then we will swatch Party by Tarte. Okay, so I have my foundation back on this side. It really did pain me to freaking take off that Melt Cosmetics blush. It was just so freaking gorgeous. But we're about to put on parte. So let's get this parte started and use a little bit of this blush. And I remember really liking this. I remember it being more mauve, but it's more of like a basic pink. Something similar to this. This one's a little bit more baby-ish doll pink. And this one, maybe I would say like a mid-tone pink. I did get another blush brush that is clean. That's a Morphe H2 brush. And I'm just going to grab a little bit. It's dusty. I don't know if you can see that. And apply. Ooh, she pretty. I like, I like, I like, I like. I like this one more than the NARS Orgasm. Let me know which one is your favorite. Here is Party. Party and then NARS Orgasm. So this one has more of a matte satiny finish. So if you don't really like glowy, this blush will be perfect for you but if you do like a glow this side has a like golden shimmer to it so my favorites would have to be the melt cosmetics blush i thought that was freaking stunning i'm gonna be wearing that orange blush a lot for fall and i definitely love tart party a lot it looks stunning i really love this kind of shade on me and then the nude sticks will have to be my like third favorite i think it's so bronzy and cute. I love it on my nose. I really like the Iconic Illuminator. I'm actually going to put some on the tops of my cheeks in a minute for you guys to see. And um, then I would say I like the NARS Orgasm Last. It's pretty, but it's a classic. Like, everybody has at least tried it once, I think. And if you haven't, this is a great way to discover some new um, blush options, highlighter. And yeah, overall, I think it's an okay value if you haven't purchased it. overall i think this is a good value if you haven't tried any of these in the past i did use a discount so it wasn't that expensive and i get to try out some other products i haven't tried out so i do think that is a an amazing deal i applied some of the tart on this side i did bronze my whole entire face where i would normally bronze that i did bronze with the nude sticks everywhere that i would normally bronze and then i did go ahead and add the iconic london illuminator on the tops of my cheeks and I look super glowy. I can see why this was a hit. I can see why this was a hit in 2015, 2016. I look absolutely stunning. I can't stop looking at my cheeks. I'm really loving the Tarte mixed with the NARS. Um, I even applied some to my forehead and chin to look extra bronzy and something burnt -y. Like these shades will work good 
all year round in my opinion especially if you like to look sunburnt and blushed on the forehead that nude sticks is chef's kiss so if you found this review informative and helpful with these swatches and demo swatches on my cheek on the cheek then go ahead go ahead and like and subscribe it helps my small channel a lot and i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and until next time i hope to see you all in my next video take care Mwah. let me know if you're picking this up and which one was your favorite in the comment section bye